To back up your embassy using Ubuntu, start by going into Terminal and finding out whether you have Samba installed already. You can type in Samba space tac tac version. I already have it installed. If you don't and you want to install it, you can type sudo apt install Samba space tac y. This won't do anything for me as I already had it installed. Now we need to go ahead and add our user to Samba. We do this by typing in sudo smb pass wd space tac a space dollar sign user in caps. Now, after potentially typing in your user password, it's going to ask you for an SMB password. This password can be different to your user password, but whatever it is, this password is the one you will need to know to make backups and recoveries to Ubuntu. So I'm going to make a password. I'm going to call it demo password. You'll need to type it twice. And that's how we add our user and password to Samba. Now we can go ahead and actually make the folder in which we're going to make backups. So I'll click on files here, right click in the white space, press new folder, and this is going to be called backups. I'm going to right click on this, press properties, go to local network share, share this folder, allow others to create and delete files in this folder and press create share. When prompted, I'm going to add the permissions automatically. Now I can close that, close this, and go into my embassy finally. Click on embassy, click create backup, and under land shared folders, click open. Here are the four things you're going to need to enter to be able to make backups from your embassy to Ubuntu. The first is host name. If you're unsure of what your host name is, go back to terminal, type in echo space dollar sign host name in caps. And this is your host name right here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here. You will probably need dot local added to the end of it. Path is just the name of the folder we created to make backups in. You don't need to type the entire path, just the name of the folder. We called it backups. Username is parallels for me. Again, if you're unsure of what the username is, go back to terminal and type echo space dollar sign user in caps parallels. My password is the one I set when I set up S, uh, when I set up Samba. It was demo password. Now you just click connect and there it is. The folder appears available to us to make backups to. All you need to do is click on it, click create backup, and then you will need to enter your embassy's master password. This encrypts the backup. Without this password, the backup will be useless to you or anyone else. Type in your embassy's master password and hit return or click on create backup. Once your backup is complete, you'll see a red icon next to notifications. You can click through and it will tell you backup complete. To recover a service, you will first need to make sure that that service doesn't already exist on your embassy. In this case, we just backed up these six services. We will not be able to recover any of them because they're all still present on my embassy. So what I'm going to do is uninstall one of them. Click on burn after reading, click on actions and click on uninstall. Now that the service is gone, we'll be able to recover it. To make a recovery, we click on embassy, click on restore from backup, click on the folder where the backup is located and click restore from backup. As mentioned, you will need your embassy's master password to be able to do this. Enter it and click next. You'll be presented with all of the possible options. I can only recover burn after reading because everything else is already present on the embassy. Click on it and click restore selected. Once restored, it will tell you that it needs config. Unlike when installing a service for the very first time, the default config will instead be whatever it was when you backed up the service. So you can click on it, click configure, you'll be offered a default of whatever it was when you backed up the service.